we are looking for a few good men. I gave up TV and Facebook for Lent, so I've been spending many evenings these past several weeks in quiet reflection. One of these nights, for whatever reason, I couldn't stop thinking of TV commercials that I grew up with. It's funny when your mind goes, where your mind goes when you let yourself sit in complete silence. Now, for those of you who were around in the 80s, remember this line I quoted from the recruiting commercial for the Marines. We are looking for a few good men. But as I thought about it, I realized that slogan also works for the priesthood. Holy Mother Church is also looking for a few good men. And Holy Mother Church has a few good men. I know many priests throughout the diocese, and like the first apostles that Jesus chose, they're all good men. Also, like those first apostles, we come with our own strengths and weaknesses. Like the first apostles, we come with our own baggage. But we also come with a genuine love for God and a desire to do good for others. So if that describes you, if you're a young man who has a genuine love for God and a desire to do good for others, God may be calling you to stand with us, the few, the proud, the Roman Catholic priesthood. Where's the beef? Where's the substance? Where's the meat of it all? What are people really looking for? People want to be happy. People want to feel fulfilled. People want to attribute some higher meaning to their existence. The Roman Catholic priesthood provides that. We help people see and understand that they are part of God's larger plan. We help people embrace their crosses and make them realize the suffering they're enduring now only prepares them for a much greater reward in eternity. We teach people that they are sacred and belong to the family of God. And we do that by providing the Eucharist, which mystically connects us to God and to all of the believers in this life and in the afterlife. Reach out and touch someone. The old Bell Atlantic commercial. There have been many times throughout my 20 years of priesthood that people have said to me, Father, when you were preaching today, it's like you were talking directly to me. And sometimes I've had people say that to me after a homily I thought was a real loser. Oftentimes people have expressed their gratitude over some advice I gave them in the confessional or relative I anointed. The priesthood touches others with the grace of God, offered through the sacraments. We ease their burdens and stress. We quiet their fears through the sacraments. We let God work through us so we can reach out to people with his grace. How do you spell relief? C-H-A-R-I-T-Y. As priests, we are also champions of the underdog. We remind the individuals that they are sacred to God and we remind the public of their responsibility to the common good. We speak out in protection of the unborn, the sick, the elderly, the poor, the immigrant, the unemployed. We point out the defects in society and challenge people to come together and fix them. And we just don't think about it. We just don't talk about it. We do something about it. We raise the funds to support charitable causes, mindful of Jesus' words. Whatsoever you did for the least of my brothers, you did for me. And who could forget the Alka-Seltzer commercial? I can't believe I ate the whole thing. As priests, we provide the Eucharist for people to eat and be one with the body of Christ. But we also encourage people to consume the whole body of Christ. The teaching. Being Catholic isn't about choosing the teachings we like and disregarding the rest. Being Catholic is about being true to the whole moral teaching. Social justice, political responsibility, sexual ethics, medical ethics. It's a package deal. FedEx, we've taken the drama out of overnight shipping. Parish life and drama pretty much go hand in hand. You have the drama of personality conflicts within parish organizations and the drama conflicts between parish organizations that we must diffuse. That's minor. But you also have the dramas of parishioners. Your people will encounter tragedy, heartbreak, devastating losses, unexpected deaths, and they look to their priest for consolation and help in making sense of it all. Much of the role of a priest is to just listen to people, empathizing with them, mourning with them, 
consoling them. We get people through their dramas. When you're out of Schlitz, you're out of beer. You just knew I had to get a beer commercial in there. There are many Christian churches that try to package the gospel into a feel-good message. I'm okay, you're okay, and that's okay. Come as you are, leave as you were. If you pray this way, if you do these things, you can make God give you whatever you want in life. Christianity is just about feeling good about yourself and accepting others as they are, no matter what their behavior is. That's fake Christianity. There is no Christianity without the cross. That's the real deal. That's the genuine article. Yes, God loves us as we are, but he loves us too much to let us stay as we are. Christianity is a constant battle to better, better ourselves, to overcome our sins, to cooperate with divine grace, and become the best people we can possibly be. Christianity is not about bending God to our will, but conforming ourselves to his. That is what the priesthood is. That is what the priesthood does. And believe me when I say, it's the toughest job you'll ever love. So if you're a young man listening to this, and you can see yourself living this kind of life, a challenging life, a busy life, but also a richly fulfilling life, pay attention to that. Pray about that. Because that just may be Jesus whispering in your ear. Can you hear me now? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.